and good morning guys it is Sunday uh, October 15th and it is uh, 4.20 a.m. 4.20 in the morning and we are getting ready for a road trip to New Jersey so we can pick up our Anna the 72 uh, GT6 and it is pouring rain, rain outside which is fine but the temperature is uh, 16 degrees Celsius not too bad for October very nice weather and yeah we're starting getting ready I'm gonna attach the trailer to the car now and I'm waiting for David as known as Chef Tash to come we have an appointment here about five o'clock and then we're gonna go to our long road trip it's gonna be a very long road it's gonna be through one Canadian province and two American states so it's gonna be fun and we're gonna keep you up to date so stay with us Okay, so we have our shotgun rider here. Sleeper! <laughs> Sleeper! Got my pillow, I'm ready to go. <laughs> He's I'm ready. For... absolutely no help whatsoever. <laughs> okay, we're all ready to go. 5 p.m. 5 a.m. 5 p.m. <laughs> yeah. So, we're ready to go. So, there is she. Finally. We got together. We got to meet her. That's our baby. <laughs> Can't see too much of her here, but now, for the first time in 30 years, she's gonna see daylight. And as a kid, as kid said, she's gonna need a big pair of sunglasses now. So we are all set now with the trailer, and we're gonna try to pull her out. And And here's Keith. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. Oh, you're welcome, man. It's my pleasure. We okay? Yeah. <laughs> you want to reposition it? No, the, the no, rear ones are fine, aren't they? Look at the wheels. They don't, they don't rotate. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're getting that on camera? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one's looper. <laughs> Okay, on this side so far. I wouldn't worry about this rock up, I got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we messed one up. Let's mess this side up because we got the damage here. So, Helen, yeah. when you're cranking it, we're going to be really tight on these fenders here, so just go slow. We may have to actually pick it up over the 
threshold here. Let me get up a little bit. <laughs> and I can just walk it forward. So we just had a toast with Kit <laughs> and Dave is here, he filmed us and the <laughs> reason for the toast was this. Yeah. We finally emptied the garage, Kit yeah. managed to close it already but his garage is empty the after 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's finally empty after 30 years and here under this pile there is a GT6 somewhere, somewhere there. But yeah. She's all packed, we're ready to go. So now we have a funny experience there on the driveway. Actually, we can film that too. <laughs> <laughs> 
But when you get to here, if you start to scrape, I can still put uh, some underneath your front tires. I, you know, I mean in front of your rear tires. get a better shot now you can see how tight is everything it has a couple of transmissions another engine <laughs> and our model is back here <laughs> very nice shot okay thank you so much and we are all packed and ready to go even in the back of the truck we have some parts so Keith was so nice to invite us for dinner also he gave us free car and he also invited us for dinner so that's really nice of him so we're gonna have a quick dinner and then we're gonna head our, to our hotel because we have a two hour, two hour drive yeah. and that's gonna be a long day thanks to this guy without him we couldn't uh, do anything <laughs> Thank you so much, Dave. No problem. So we enjoyed the very delicious dinner with Keith and his beautiful wife, Mary, and their dog, George. Actually, that's their son's dog. We even spent more time than expected, but unfortunately we had to go because we had two more hours drive to our hotel. Okay, time to go to bed. We are really tired. We're gonna sleep here in this hotel gonna stay overnight and we're gonna keep going in the morning towards the borders okay 7 a.m. Monday the 16th October and we are all set to go Dave is setting up the GPS and Anna is waiting for the trip to Canada okay so we are back in Canada finally the car has been exported from the US and it has been imported to Canada so it's official Canadian right now and she's in Canada that's as far as I know her third time in Canada because I know Keith came twice to Canada with it in the early 80s I guess so it's not unfamiliar for her but she's been sitting for 30 years so now it's been a long trip for her 900 kilometers already almost and yeah we have one more hour to the shop and it unloaded here you go <laughs> welcome to Canada okay so we're finally at the shop actually we, we've been here for more than an hour now but we were just chit chatting and uh, Dave just took off and I'm gonna park the trailer inside and I'm gonna start unloading it because I need to return the trailer and yeah finally the car made it to the shop that was uh, 1740 kilometers altogether for us so half of that was for her about 870 kilometers i guess yeah so that was a long trip for her but she's done it before like i said she's she came to canada to petersburg twice with uh, Keith. 
So it's not the first time for her in Canada, but now she is officially a Canadian citizen. So yeah, now I just have to make some maneuvers here and bring her inside the shop and start unloading it. Okay, so it's 7.15 and finally all the rusty beauties are lined up in the shop. Everything is unloaded and Anna is on the line waiting for her turn to start getting restored. Engine is here, the, the differential, transmission many many parts there need to be sorted out many many parts here tires roof rack a lot of trim pieces well one of these days I'm gonna have to sort everything and see what's there I'm sure there's more than one car here at least there are eight tires, so for sure <laughs> there's more than one car here and yeah, so the saga is finally over she's home, in her new home anyways she left her old home and she's now here in her new home with her older sister so once again, thank you so much Kid for donating this to me I'm really gonna take care of her and hopefully soon I'm gonna be able to drive it down there and then you can have a ride in it and as we agreed, right? So again, thank you so much. That was really, really, really generous of you and I, I can't thank you enough. Thanks a lot also to David Tashingham 
thank you so much for riding with me all these 1700 kilometers and for helping helping with the loading because that was a lot of work there and I couldn't do it without you so thank you so much Dave and yeah that's the end of this episode and hopefully soon we're gonna start the series where she's gonna be restored and she's gonna be on the road <laughs>